yeah, you, you can set yeah. absolutely <laughs> the profiles. So that's it's quite simple. On the, this is the app that works on Android and iOS, tablet or iPhone, or phone. And then, so this we have a menu, we have profiles, all the profiles that you get on your uh, life, on the app. And then you have also an online library, with like so the way more than 70 profiles from different yeah, professional yeah, industries. So even like Patrick Wolf has a uh, profile that you can send to us. Mm -hmm. But you know, like the main profile for like uh, this month. It's very, very professional. We have, yeah, we have a lot of different profiles. So Central America, South America, Africa, based on the type of coffee. Del Harris, for example. We're using, uh, well, like, this is a Kenyan, and we're using the Del Harris profile. That place, the flavor. It's a quite interesting one. Where he, where he, like, deep dives into the, 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 all the same as if you were working very, very particular cheese of all the flavors you get in a cup in a Kenyan coffee. Mm -hmm. So it's really interesting. And then, and this one, and also with this coffee, uh, this is a rich uh, Ethiopia from Nordic approach. And we have a good profile of this also. So you get get all the the profile in the online library. You can download it. It's quite easy and you can save it into the the app. Let me show it to you. Have you um have you got a card on you? And then um well um, I'll give you a nudge and you can let me know how you get on. This is great. I can see one of um, Nordic's new ones. Oh. oh. Now the, the, the region, and then the feature profile. What's your name, Alex? Brad. I'm Patrick Wolf. That's me, Helen. Hey, Pete, you And then you get you just let's say we're going to do the the, the Kenyan one. Cup Africa. And here we go. You go down, and we have the Del Harris profile. I can uh -huh. I can use Del Harris profile if I want. Yeah. Why not? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to build your own profile and explore that. You can start with this one, it's the highest profile right away. Cool. Without, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm the Harris. Okay. <laughs> and here you, you have it. And then just send to the roaster. Perfect, ready. And then to start the preheating phase, click the button. points over 20 minutes you see you can add as many points and other and this is a temperature curve from uh, and uh, and this is the temperature curve based on the temperature sensor that's the in the roast chamber so this temperature sensor this so this the whole roast will be following this temperature sensor here and then here you have uh, the airflow percentage so that tells you how much airflow has to go in the roast chamber to make sure that the beans move correctly in our Roasted homogeneously, everything. Everything that you need. Ah, exactly. And you can change the percentage by the, by the 1% at a time. time. Okay, now it's ready. Put the beans into the toaster. <laughs> you turn it. <laughs> the beans falls down, throws it back. And it starts roasting. So if you want to change, for example, on the profile, you say, okay, this is good, I'm okay with it. Save an update, you create a new profile, or you overwrite the profile. In this case, we cancel, and we just keep it doing this. So now you can see here, we have, we have two temperature sensors inside the, 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 this roaster. So one is the inlet temperature sensor, that means the, the, the temperature that goes, comes in, in, that goes into the roast chamber. So how much heat is applied to the beans. Amount of the beans, I think. Exactly. Sure. And the red one is how much heat has been achieved in the roast chamber. It's a great measure of the... And as you can see now, so we have a very, very short turning point. It's like a very, like, couple of seconds turning point. Yes. And now it's coming back right away to follow the curve perfectly. Very interesting, the turning point is... 
Yeah, it's like because it's, it's very powerful. It's really, really powerful. You have a very powerful uh, fan motor plus also a heating element that's really, really powerful. It's so good. The, it's very good. Yeah, and it's the, the, the best thing about it is like the precision of this machine is incredible. You can see the temperature of the. How can measure the, the beans? Hmm? How can measuring the beans temp temperature? But since it's, you're working with 50 gram and closely to the beans, this 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 sensor here is almost the temperature of the beans because you're working at a 50 gram very close to the beans, and it's the air that just comes out of the, the beans. So it's like almost the temperature. You really you can see the very very tight close environment. So, so for example, we start, the yellow the yellowing starts. We mark the yellowing change, the color change. Yeah, yeah. start the, the, the roasting. Yeah. There's another good indication of, uh, yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. You can see, for example, yeah. the yellow curve yeah. is going slightly up and down yeah. to make sure yeah. that the yeah. temperature, the roast temperature is all yeah. like the one that, uh, that we decide, that yeah. the Del Aris has decided to make. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very important. And also you can have the, the rate of rise, so we still get the increase of the temperature, the bean temperature, <laughs> the speed, of the, the bean temperature increase. Good indication, for example. There's another information for you, for example, to do some profiling. So you can not only do some like, sampling, but also sampling uh, using for sample uh, evaluation. But if you need to profile the coffee, you can uh, yeah, start really doing it easily. And have all this information at your, uh, at your hand, so when you... So you really need, really can make all the necessary, necessary change to make sure that your votes like give the best profile. <laughs> I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> but the best thing also is like <coughs> you can edit during the roast. You can edit everything if you want. You don't have to uh, wait until the roast is finished to edit it. You can do it. You can do it now. And for example, now we say, okay, we're gonna add a, add a bit of speed fan. You do it, and then you save it, and it will, uh, it will do it. The rules still will change it. So for example, you're, you're, you're a roaster, for example, you need to evaluate all the samples you get, and you, have, you need this consistency between the, all the samples. So here you're working with 50 grams, Convection roaster and in a very very high precision. So the consistency of all the it's, like, it's incredible how consistent the roast comes out. You can use you can have like 10 samples of coffee using the same profile of roast from out the same. Always the same. Yeah. It's and you, do, you can do back to back roasting like 60 times a day. And we've got this machine that's going to be used like all day long for three days. It's always almost done, yes? Yeah. And now soon we can, uh, we're going to read this first track. So you can hear it. You can hear? It's a bit loud here, but anyway, we should start hearing it. Yeah, it's what we're on. Yeah, it's too much, too much sound. It's hard to... Right, uh, now, now what's happening, we, did, we went down to uh, the cooling phase. So now it's cooling down the beans at the same time, cooling down the machine. All done in the same place. How long are you going to stay here in uh, Berlin? Sorry? How long are you going to stay in Berlin? Just two days. Just two days? So you're going back tomorrow? Uh, yes. <laughs> 